This is a blend extra. Well, Milwaukee's brewing history is long and rich. Some breweries are going strong, while others have been abandoned. Joining me now are two people who know a little bit about that history. Peter Eline is a fourth generation Schlitz family, and Paul Bialis is a photographer who captured the abandoned Schlitz brewery in his new book. It's called Schlitz Brewing Art. Welcome to the Morning Blend, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for being here. A lot of people are familiar with your other book, The Pabst, um, on the Pabst history as yes. well. This one on the Schlitz. Why did you decide to do this? And, and what does the book feature? The book features photographs of the abandoned Schlitz Brewery, the malt house, the brewing house, the labs. It's really a compilation of all those buildings in their current state um, after being abandoned for 30 years. But you get a tour through and you get to see a lot of the lab equipment and things still out there. It tells the story of the workers and the buildings and Schlitz. And included in each book is uh, they're all hand signed and numbered. And there's a CD included in the back where you get to hear from employees what it was like to work there. And then you get some local music about Schlitz as well. I even play some guitar. Nice. So it's really a nice special project and special book that takes you on a tour through these buildings. I mean, what a piece of art right here in our own backyard. And the fact uh, we talked to you on the Morning Blend and you mentioned these pictures that are featured in here. You're not a professional photographer, but I think you can say you are with the looks of these gorgeous photos. Yeah, it's been a project and taking pictures has been something that's Really grown. I've learned a lot and I've put everything I've learned into this book and the photographs really tell an amazing story about the brewery. Yeah, I know the CD as you mentioned is a, is a really unique part of the book that comes with the piece of history as the photography portion as well. Um, for Peter, you, how does the E-Line connection happen to go along with Schlitz? The brewery was founded in 1849 by my great great uncle August Krug and when he founded the brewery he brought one of his nephews from Germany with him by the name of August E-Line. When August Krug passed away about five years later, his widow married the bookkeeper of the, of the Krug Brewing Company, and his name was Joseph Schlitz. Uh -huh. Joseph ended up naming the company after himself. August and, uh, uh, excuse me, Joseph and Anna Krug did not have any children. Mm -hmm. And it was understood that the brewery would be passed on to the Eline brothers, the August Eline and his four or five other brothers, quite a few in that family, th in that era. And, uh, and after, uh, uh, Joseph Schlitz passed away. The company was passed down to the Eline brothers and it was run by the Elines until it was sold in 1982. Having worked there myself, this is quite a walk down memory lane. I believe it. Well, yeah, and just having that, that personal connection as well as just all of us seeing this as such a rich part of Milwaukee history. Yeah. One thing we kind of discovered when we talked to you on the blend, too, is that a lot of the pictures feature things that were just sort of abandoned there. We saw a picture of the, the flag still, fl is still hanging in there. There's beer bottles. You also talk about things like the iron that's so specific to the Schlitz breweries. Yeah, there's an ornate ironwork in, in these buildings, and it's so nice to bring that out. And... You know, when I, when I did the book, I just did it at home on my home computer, had the books mailed to my house. I've been fortunate that all the local bookstores have taken it, and I literally deliver them to the bookstores or have them mailed out. So it's a real small project. It's very special. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> That's amazing to me to know you just did that at home on your commute computer, did all these wonderful interviews. There's also music on the CD, as you mentioned. Yes. I want to make sure everybody knows how to get the book and learn a little bit more about our history and the E-Line connection, as well as just you know, the beautiful buildings and artwork that you've displayed in this book. It's lakecountryphoto.com. You can find out more about the book and where to get it there. Um, and that's the website that you should visit to learn more about the book, see all the beautiful photos, and again, more about that connection between the E-Lines and the Schlitz and our history here. Thanks so much for being Thank here, you. gentlemen. Thank you. Appreciate it.